All right, in today's theme showcase video, we're going to be looking through a really elegant theme called Aura, which was created by City212, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful theme. Um, it has a lot of different aspect ratios, so we'll first start there. Out of the box, it supports 16 by 9, which we're looking at on the screen, 16 by 10, 3 by 2, 4 by 3, 8 by 7, 19.5 by 9, and 21 by 9. So if I look at here on a 16 by 9, that's essentially what this would look like here. On a 4x3 device, we have this device over here. You can kind of get a sense of how things will look and scale on a device like this, which is really nice. And then if we look at like a 3x2 device, essentially like this. And you can see uh, City212 has done an amazing job of scaling this well to fit all of these different aspect ratios. If you were using a one by one device, same thing. And then if you were using, let's say an eight by seven device, like the Retroid Pocket Classic here, uh, things we just scale really cleanly across all these systems here. So it's an overall really, really nice job. Now from an options perspective, it is extensive. Um, a lot of really cool options in here. We're gonna try to go through each of them. Um, so let's take a look. So by default, when you set up this theme, it starts with the carousel and text list. And essentially what this means is the carousel, the, the word in brackets refers to how the system is structured. And then the second word is how the game list view is structured. Um, so we'll focus on those variants first and then we'll get into color schemes next. So first we're looking at the carousel system view and text list game list. So if I go into the game list here, it's essentially a really simple text list with nice metadata for the game here over on the right and a carousel view for the system. And if I go to UI settings and then change this over to carousel detail grid, again, we're gonna have a carousel view on the system view. And then when the uh, game list displays, it's gonna be a, a grid of, of uh, I believe cover artwork um, and uh, some metadata as well. So if I go over to PC Engine here, you could see I have a nice grid for navigating my games here with a box art, and then the same metadata that we're seeing before from the list view. And then this proceeds to go down the same path. So if I go into carousel here, uh, detail grid help off, essentially what this view is, is the same view that we we're just looking at with the help system turned off. So that's some additional spacing for metadata and things like that. The basic grid is really nice as well. It's just a full grid view, I believe. Let's double check. Uh, so this will be, again, a carousel system view and then a grid view for the game list, which will just be grid of covers. In this case, it's just a very simple list of, uh, of, of game covers, as you can see here. Um, and what's really nice, again, is this theme like, just evokes all the artwork for your games, so it makes everything pop really nicely. Uh, carousel basic grid help off is the same as we just looked at with the help system off. And then carousel marquee is going to show a carousel of games uh, and their marquees. Carousel box art is going to show a carousel of games and their box art. And then immersive, let's take a look at this one. Um, essentially this will show a carousel of games on the game list and it'll use their box art. And I believe when you hover over one for a moment, it'll play the video for that game behind the scenes as an immersive kind of a display there. So yeah, there you go. It immerses you directly in the, the video of the game, which is a really, really elegant implementation here by City212. Um, so you focus on the game, it stops, and then it loads the video over on top of the carousel to show you the gameplay of that game. Really nice. So as we go down the list of variants here, um, these essentially then, again, if we follow the same pattern, so full screen refers to how the system view will look. And then that second list is essentially how the game list view will look. So on full screen, all of these game list views are the same as we just looked at above. So we'll focus primarily on looking at what full screen does as the system view. So if I go back now, whoops, one second. Let's do full screen text list. This will change how the system view works. So now the system view is now this full screen artwork for the system you're looking at. And as you scroll through, it essentially shows just that system really nicely. This works really well on like a one by one screen, um, but also looks really nice here on the like a 69 as well. 
So the next, all these then, then the, all the game list options here are the same as we just looked at. So it just changes the, this just changes the system view. And the same thing goes for the grid here. So grid, if I go to grid text list, what this is gonna do is change the system view that we're looking at to a grid, and then the game list will be a text list. So let's take a look at that. And again, really, really clean. So just very nice, the really cool artwork here. Uh, using controllers by default. And I'll show you how to change this, the, Im the artwork here used uh, through color schemes next. So that might be it for variants. Let's double check, yes, okay. So that's variants. Again, a lot of really awesome options here. So you get to choose the one that really you prefer. And let's go to color scheme next. Now color scheme is gonna refer to, the thing in brackets refers to the artwork that's used on the system view. And then the second word out of brackets is the overall kind of uh, coloring that is used throughout the theme as you display it. So right now we're on controller and violet, which gives you this kind of really nice, clean violet look and the controllers on the system view here. So let's change this or see what else we have. If I want to, let's say controller and blue, you'll see now that the color scheme will change to more of a blue, uh, but again, still use those controllers. But City212 has added some other options that are really nice too. So if I go to, let's say, logo, and then let's go logo and uh, green. You'll see now that on the system view, we're gonna show logos for each system. And then we have this really nice kind of uh, green background artwork here. And then, you know, goes back to this the game list view as well. So all everything kind of is consistent all the way through. Uh, and then let's look at the last option here, which I believe is art. Yes, perfect. So let's look at artwork with uh, the pocket light color scheme. And what's nice about this is it's gonna change the system view here to show really uh, well done illustrations for each system, along with a really nice background that evokes the, uh, I believe the Ion Neo pocket light. So if I change that here, and then yeah, take a look at this. Really, really nice, bold, beautiful uh, illustrations. And what's nice about this is if you didn't like that color scheme, you could then change it to something uh, different. In this case, I'll choose black. And yeah, just really, really, really nice looking. So awesome work here by City212. Uh, they've also added a set of uh, theme font sizes here. So it supports medium, large, small, and extra large. I've been using medium so far. Um, if you want a little bit larger on a device like this, which is a five inch screen, change it to large. And then let's say it's going to the game list view here. Let's pick Turbo Graphics. You could see here that the text size has changed a bit. And then if I change that up to, let's say extra large, uh, you can see here that the text is a lot bigger now. Um, the box art is now showing as well. And this would be really, really good for one of these uh, uh, smaller devices like, like this three by two device here as well. If you change the, the font size, um, it really helps the text be readable in a size like that. So yeah, I think that's, that's most of it. Um, the other note is, yeah, there also supports a small font size here. And this would be really great if you're like sitting uh, on your couch and looking at this on a TV or maybe even at your computer on your computer monitor it just really prioritizes the spacing now and then has a lot of metadata for displaying for the game as well. So um, simply great work here by City212. Uh, again, this is called Aura. You could find it on the theme downloader. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, let us know. Thanks so much. Take care.